Hey, bats, kiddos, Joker here, and you're listening to the Bob Culture Podcast. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a very special UWA Elite Edition of the BCP. Very, very excited for this pre-match showdown edition of the BCP ahead of their match for the Territory Championship in a street fight at UWA Elite's 20th anniversary show this Saturday. Tickets are still available. Please welcome in first. He is the challenger. He's a good friend of the show. He is the Matt Mechanic himself. Mr. Eric Corbis. Mr. Corbis, welcome back to the show. How are you, bro? Doing doing really well, man. Like uh, Normally, I'm all smiles when I come on the show with you guys and chat, and today it's a little bit more uh, a little bit more serious. But, Mr. Corbis, thank you so much for making a few minutes. And, guys, please welcome in. He is the New York Drip. He is the territory champion himself. Please welcome to the show, making his debut, a long overdue debut, Mr. Matt Vertigo. What's up, Mr. Vertigo? How are you? All right, listen, of course I'm here. Like, Eric is lucky to be here. He's here because I'm here. Let's just be honest, all right? He's here because I'm here. So let's just get to the questions. I want to know what you want to ask. Simple. Well, well, my first question to to you, Mr. Vertigo, is are are the Nets going to go all the way on this one, or uh, what do you think? Do I look like referee Ryan T? I'm sorry. There it is. There it is. I I know. I dig. There it is. All right. There it is. All right, I'm yeah, lost, but look, we're gonna bounce back. All right, all right. Hey. But uh, seriously, guys, I did want to ask you this. You know, um, Mr. Vertigo, you had said Corvus is here because you're here. So, Mr. Corvus, I'll throw this to you first. Um, what does it mean to you to get that tap on the shoulder to be the number one contender for whoever won the fight on June fifth? Uh, obviously, I saw that altercation at, after the match, but you've been a part of this company, uh, I believe, since its inception. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, what does it mean to you to be the number one guy right now for that title? I mean, it means everything, man. When it comes to UWA Elite, I've held every single championship in that company. I'm a Grand Slam champion, you know, and this territory title is doing something completely different you know it's great it's great nowadays to see independent wrestling companies work together man you got uwa elite ecwa world one you got battle club pro you got swo you get like all of these companies working together man under the same umbrella and that i I consider myself a journeyman in independent wrestling and that's what that territory title means to me that just means that my journey gets to expand, you know, and that, that's taken vertigo out of the picture. And that's just talking about how much the championship itself would be. You can't take me out of the picture without, without me there. Listen, I'm the inaugural champion. Put some respect on my name before you try to take me out of any picture. Wow. Well, you talk about respect, gentlemen, and I'll throw this to you, Mr. Vertigo. Um, Daniel Baldwin, or I should say Rad Dad, uh, Radley Belmont of the Stepdads posted this on social media, and I quote, TJ Marconi now holds four titles representing seven promotions. Matt Vertigo is traveling to six promotions as the territory champion. The IWTV champion is being recognized by a dozen or so promotions at any given time on their streaming service. It looks like the old school concept of traveling championships Champions is the new hot thing. I couldn't be happier about it. It means a lot more opportunities for these champions. It means a lot more potential for blending fan bases. It means uh, presenting local audiences with a much larger scope of the indie wrestling world. It's a win-win for fans and wrestlers alike. Um, does that mean anything to you, holding that champion? Like, Do you have that respect for that particular championship, Mr. Vertigo? Because you're no stranger to gold around the waist. Of course, listen. All right, when it comes to this title, I respect everything that this title embraces, all right? I have to represent all of those companies that were mentioned by my opponent, Eric Corbis. I have to go out there and prove why I represent all of those companies that are involved. So yes, I take utmost respect out of being the inaugural um, territory champion. And this is the thing is that my whole point of being this champion is so that I can give opportunities to people that deserve it. And we come back. I'm, I'm, we come back to Eric Corvus, who just mentioned that he's held every single title in UWA Elite. So it just 
begs me to wonder, like, what makes you think that you truly deserve and earned a shot at this? Very confused why you're even here. Wow. Well, I mean, I mean, even if, uh, I mean, take, take just wrestling in general, I was put in a match and the stipulation of the match was the winner. You didn't deserve to be put in that shot match that in fight. general. But I was. That, that's the thing, Matt. That's the thing I haven't been able to wrap my head around all these years, man. You've always had this little bit of an issue with me that has grown into this big issue, man. Like, a couple of weeks ago, I celebrated my 20 years in wrestling. I'm 36 years old, and I'm still out there doing it. I'm still winning matches. I'm still in high-profile matches. I'm still performing at a high level. I don't understand why when you look at me, you see somebody not deserving of a championship. You see somebody not deserving to share the ring with you, man. You've, you've said this to me before. This isn't the first time we're, we're going to share a ring together, man. Of course. And here we are again. Look, I told you. I've told you multiple times. All right? You retired for a reason. All right, and the fact that you could just come back and politic your way into getting what you want is disgusting. And I'm gonna make sure I put an end to that at 20th anniversary, which is what you said. It's your. It's also your 20th anniversary in wrestling. All right, we'll see what happens after 20th anniversary. Well, let's so talk shop. Oh wow, retired or not? Wow. Well, let's talk shop a little bit, gentlemen. Uh, I'll throw this to you, Mr. Corvus. Uh, Mr. Vertigo has uh, last year. I claimed him to have the best spine buster on the Indies. The metal lands monster took that very personally and did one in front of us and kind of looked at me afterwards. So there's a little competition there. But Vertigo, I mean, he is amazing in the ring, you know, uh, say what you want about him outside the ring, man. But his work speaks for himself. He's standing there with the gold. I mean, what what is the I mean, what does it mean to you to go against the likes of a Matt Vertigo? Are you scouting like his moveset and such things of that nature? Dude, when it comes to movesets and when it comes to knowing somebody like that's the past already, man. Like Vertigo yeah. and I have wrestled each other at least five or six times. Yeah. There's been some times where he walks away victorious. There's some times where I walk away victorious. That's, that's kind of the crux of the issue between me and Vertigo. Where it all started is I see how amazing he is. I see the potential he has to be so much more, but that chip on the shoulder never goes away. He looks at a 36-year-old guy and he calls him too old. He said he, he just gets opportunities and politics his, his way into these situations. Hey, Rob. You've been seeing me wrestle for quite some time now. Do yes, I sir. look like I don't belong in that ring? Dude, you look, you, you look, I told you at the bar, man, the, the last week I said, uh, basketball drafts shameless promo. You looked great, man. I thought you looked great. And that's the whole point, man. Like I'm still out there with top tier talent and I'm still killing it. And, and all of these years later, man, like I used to try to mentor Vertigo. This is like Vertigo's third or fourth shot in independent wrestling because dude didn't take it seriously to begin with. That's where my issue always started, watching him piss away potential because he couldn't get his head on straight. And, and that, that tough love for me, those words for me, I think that's why Vertigo hates me. So what are you, my father figure now? You're going to try and give me life lessons? All right, I'm the champion. If anything, you look up to me. All right? Just make sure that's clear. You're trying to be in my position. I'm not trying to be in your position. Let's make sure we get that straight. Mr. Virgo, I'll throw it to you, man. And like, obviously, uh, you know, we use the term hateful respect a lot on this show, man. But you guys have faced each other so much. Obviously, there's a history there. Is there any, you know, moniker of or little tiny bit of respect for Mr. Corvus on your end, Mr. Virgo? Yeah, I have respect for him. I'm not going to lie. And, you know, I'm not a liar. I have respect for him. There's lots of things that he's done to help pave the way for people as myself in the wrestling business, for sure. But we're not talking about past. We're talking about right now. And right now, my job is to continue to be the best champion that all of these companies deserve. Not to be Eric Corvus. All right. Same question for you, Mr. Corvus. Any, um, you know, a little bit of respect for your opponent. Obviously, you guys have shared the ring together. I have a lot of respect for Vertigo and, and what he does in that ring as a performer. The, the aspect of outside of the ring, though, as a human being, it, it's hard to have any respect for him, man. 
I mean, take a look at this past Saturday at ECWA Heat Stroke, man. I was there with the president of UWA Elite, Dave Swan, just as an ambassador. These companies are working together. Let's go and support one another, you know? And I knew I was going to be wrestling either Matt Vertigo or Eric Martin, so why not, you know, give myself a little preparation, do a little scouting? ECWA was a little shorthand, and then they asked me to fill in as commentator for the night. And what better way to scout somebody than to be calling their entire match? And I said not one negative thing about Vertigo while I was on commentary. But I didn't like how the match with him and Eric Martin went down because Vertigo had to introduce a chair, you know? So I went over and I checked on him. Vertigo put his hands on me, not the other way around. I wasn't antagonizing him. I wasn't trying to fight him there. I was doing my due diligence as a professional wrestler and preparing for a match. He put his hands on me. That's why he ended up taking a zero machine on that territory title and staring up at the light. That's why this match became a street fight. And that's why this Saturday is going to end the exact same way with me holding the territory title and him staring up at the sky after getting dropped on his head by a zero machine. Time out. See, this is where I feel like I need to cut in. You're no saint. So stop acting like you're, you're, you're a saint. All right. Because if I came to your show and showed up on your show, and showed up on commentary during your match, I guarantee you wouldn't be talking so lightly about, oh, you know, I'm just going to scout BS. All right? You were coming to look for me. All right? And, and it didn't matter how I defended my championship. I defended it. I didn't lose it like you. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's getting real. We knew it would, guys. I'll throw this to you, Mr. Vertigo. You guys talk about that altercation last Saturday. Um, and I quote you, Mr. Corvus, saying, uh, you're the New York drip, but I will have you dripping all over the canvas after the street fight. Uh, comments on that, Mr. Vertigo. Well, he wants to talk about respect, right? That's the, one of the first things you want to talk about was how he respects me, but he wants to leave me bloody in the ring. Listen, all right, I didn't interfere in his business. That's one thing that Eric Corvus has a huge, huge problem with is that he loves to interfere into other people's business. All right. He did it before when I was fighting against King tech, he interfered in my business and what happened? He got cracked in the back of the head. He interfered into my business at ECWA. And what happened? He got cracked in the back of the head. Yeah. He got the upper hand, but so what he needs to stay out of my business. And that's where the, all this comes from. All right, you want to talk about respect, but that's the utmost disrespect. All right, it's, it's not hidden. It's it's in plain sight. It's not my fault. You're too senile to understand. <laughs> wow. Um, well, I do want to ask you, gentlemen, this. Like, obviously, Corvus, you've been doing it for some time now. Um, you know, on, on the indies, we're, we're seeing more and more of these, you know, steel cages, prison matches, ladder matches, more and more. I love to see it as things are starting to reopen. Things are getting grander. Congrats on, again, uh, UWA on 20 years. Um, any street fight experience on your end, Mr. Corvus? I'm sure there has been. Yeah, he oh. lost in the last one. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. All right. Funny, funny. Yeah, I did. I lost your my title, iron right? Yeah, yeah. I lost my Iron Man championship in a straight up wrestling match with Eddie Thomas after I beat him at last breath in an I quit cage match. All right. But let's not talk about losing the Iron, Cham Iron Man championship because you know exactly what that feels like. Because I wasn't even going to bring it up, man. But Rob, me and this man right here, Matt Vertigo, we went one on one two years ago, last breath 2019, when he was the Iron Man champion. And I took that belt away from him and ever since that moment you look at look at his eyes right now see his face ever since i took that championship away from him he thinks that i took away his momentum that i took away his moment and he has had a bullseye on my back ever since and vertigo you're already familiar with what it's like to lose a championship to me wow. and it's going to be all too familiar on June twelfth in that street fight, man, dude, I, I've I've fallen off a cage of death, bro. I've been in first blood matches. I've been in street fights. I've been in cage matches, TLCs, everything. I don't care. The only reason I even challenged you to a street fight is because I don't want any questions after Saturday. I don't want any count outs. I don't want any rope breaks. I don't want any excuses. 
New York drip, Matt, Matt Vertigo, man, you are king excuses, Matt Vertigo. <laughs> and you're going to have none left after Saturday, bro. Excuses? This is no excuse. All right? This proves it. All right? So whatever is going on in your head, all right, I'm going to make sure to stomp it out come Saturday. Yeah, and I'm sure I'm going to have my back turned when you do it. Just like you always do, talking about respect. The only time you grow a pair of balls is when I have my back turned to you. Wow. I mean, I'm uncomfortable right now, but I do have to ask you this, Mr. Vertigo. Um, you know, seeing Corvus the past couple months, I saw him at the basketball uh, draft shameless promo again. Uh, I said he looks great, man. Like, I know what his motivations are for being in wrestling this long and returning and, and just putting in the work, man. Um he looks great. He's been losing weight, man. I, I said, first thing I said to him, I'm like, you look great, man. You've really been putting it in the work, man. Are you mindful that, like, Corvus is on the up and up right now, man. He's motivated, number one contender. He's getting leaner, man. Are, are you aware of all this, Mr. Vertigo? Do you take this very seriously? It's one thing to look great, and it's one thing to be great. Wow. All right? Let's just leave it at that. You can look and play off like you're some great wrestler and you're some great guy, but I know how you really are. Or I've known you forever. All right, and you're a con artist. All right, so wow. you can look great all you want, but you'll never be the New York Drip. Matt. But that's what I'm talking about. That's, that's, I'm, that's what I'm talking about right there, though. You do you represent six independent wrestling companies. Exactly. And, I'm great. And, and this is the person that these fans have to look up to. This is, this is the attitude of a guy that's supposed to represent six sets of fans. And this is how you talk. This is how you conduct yourself. And you call, you call I, me. I say it how it is. I'm real. I'm real. All right. I say it exactly how it is. And that's why I earn respect because I'm real. I don't play games. Wow. Um, well, gentlemen, I'll ask you this, and I think this is a very important fan question. You guys obviously know strangers to fighting each other. Um, we'll start with you, Mr. Corvus, the challenger. You guys know each other so well. What gives you the edge or advantage in this match without giving away too much strategy? Listen, man, as far as strategy goes, man, like Matt Vertigo knows what I bring to the ring. He, he shared the ring with me before. He's lost to me before, but I've also lost to him. And sometimes you learn way more about somebody by losing to them than defeating them. I'm lucky because in Vertigo's case, I've done both. I know what it takes to put Vertigo down for a championship. I know what that takes already. You add the street fight aspect, yeah, there's going to be some variables out there. But UWA Elite isn't the only thing that's 20 years into this business. So am I. Experience? will always win out over arrogance. 10 times out of 10. Wow. Uh, we'll send the same question to the champion. What gives you the edge, Mr. Vertigo? What gives me the edge is exactly what I've been preaching this whole time, and that's I am great. I don't have to continue. How, how many times do I have to continue to prove to Eric Corvus and to prove to everyone else about how great that I truly am? I'm great, and this proves it right here. So when I walk in, all right, when I walk in the 20th anniversary, I'm going to walk in the territory champion, and I'm going to walk out the territory champion because that's just how great I am. So you can talk all you want, all right? You're not walking away with the gold. Talk is cheap, and so is your gear. I mean, I'm always in – yikes. I'm always an advocate of – Actions are louder than words, but gentlemen and guys, you know, shameless promo, uwaelite.com. Get your tickets now for this Saturday. It's going to be a great event. 20th anniversary. You know it's going to be a big deal. I'll be playing Mr. Corvus to the ring. I'm very excited and honored to do that. It's going to be amazing, guys. Uh, but let's leave the fans with this. Uh, some parting words, anything that you guys want to say to the fans about this match, about the event. Uh, we'll start with you, Mr. Corvus. Well, I mean, uh, I thank you again for agreeing to play me out. I feel that we, we got to experience this once before. Kind of got a little muddied. I'm glad we get to do it again. And we get to do it with my little brother, Vincent, also playing guitar. It's going to be a really cool moment for me, regardless of if I walk out of the 20th anniversary champion or not. Uh, my final words, man, like Vertigo, I think 
you are as good as you say you are. I just know that you could be better if you get your head right, man. And I hope that uh, this loss to me on Saturday really proves to you that you're going about things the wrong way. And hopefully you'll accept one of these lessons that I've been trying to teach you for the better part of a decade. We'll throw it to the champion. Uh, take it home, sir. Any final words you have for the fans, for your opponent? Yeah, of course. All right, look. This little family reunion that you're all excited for, all right, I'm going to end that. All right, you could be happy and excited for the journey to 20th anniversary, but at the end of the day, 20th anniversary is going to be your downfall. All right? Let me get one thing straight. All right, I don't like you. I've never liked you. I, can, I respect you a little bit. I don't like you. All right. And I'm going to make sure that you never get another opportunity at this, because like I said, it's not something you deserve. So go ahead. Be all excited for, you know, him to play you out. Be all excited for your entrance and your whatever fresh new cool gear that you're going to get. Be all excited for that, because I'm going to be excited when I knock you out. You're staring up at the lights and you look at the little reflection that's just bouncing off your skull. And it's going to read heavyweight territory champion, Matt Vertigo. It's as simple as that. Wow. I mean, a lot of real talk here, gentlemen. I thank you so much for a few minutes of your time. Guys, again, UWA Elite 20th anniversary show this Saturday here in New Jersey. Get your tickets now at UWAElite.com. Gentlemen, thank you so much for a few minutes of your time. Continued success going forward to both of you. And like we always say here on the BCP, everyone stay safe, stay positive, take care of each other. We're out. Peace.